Gun shop employees of Reddit, what are some red flags that have caused you to deny a sale of a firearm? Serious. I have an FFL and have worked many gun shows as well as a couple of small stores. Both before I had my FFL and after. 99.99% of the time, the biggest red flag is body language. How the person acts and how they carry themselves. It is easy to spot many heavy drug users. Especially meth users and they are always denied. I was working at a small gun shop and had a young guy, maybe 22 or 23, asking about a pistol. Something felt off but nothing that immediately set off a red flag. He asked to see a kel 9mm, and when I handed him the pistol he immediately pointed it at me and pulled the trigger. When it went click he said too bad it was not loaded not only did I not sell to him, the person behind him was an off-duty cop. I learned that when a customer does that it is still considered assault with a deadly weapon. I worked at a pawn shop that sold guns. Had a clearly angry man come in one day asking to buy a gun. Okay, sir. What are you looking to get? If we don't have it, I can probably order it. He responded with I don't care anything. Nope, you aren't getting shit buddy. He threatened to call the cops, I told him to go ahead and he left. Instructor for a hole in the wall joint here. Saw a dude's probation officer's business card in his wallet. Had a possibly homeless woman ask for a little gun not like to kill anybody, but just to teach them a lesson. Guy came in looking to buy a handgun. His girlfriend decided to wait in the car while he did the paperwork. Since he didn't have a carry permit so he couldn't pick up the same day, Florida law, and as soon as he left and got in the car, his girlfriend starts yelling at him and slaps him, because she apparently didn't think he was actually buying. The next day my boss called him and told him that he wasn't going to sell to someone in his situation, and the guy thankfully agreed. Another time a woman came in and told us not to allow her brother to get a carry permit, and provided us his name and her contact information. Edit, just remembered another one. We list stuff on Gunbroker, an auction site, and a guy who was living within driving distance won a .38 Smith & Wesson revolver from us. I wasn't there when the guy came in, but apparently the guy had forgotten his ID when he first showed up, sounded suspicious since he had to travel about 45 minutes to get to us, and had to come back another day. Next time he shows up, he still has nothing proving he's a Florida resident and claims he's a merchant marine, like that somehow makes it better. Needless to say, he got an F on his gun broker reputation and no point three eight. I worked at a larger sporting goods store, so when I came in for my shift, I had to finish this old guy's paperwork. He starts telling me about the gun and how he can't wait to shoot it. So I look at the paperwork and a woman applied to buy the gun. Big red flag and he told me that his wife was filling out the paperwork. He told me it doesn't matter who signs for the paperwork. Huge red flag, so I talked to my manager about cancelling the sale. Then the guy stormed off super pissed, but they said he'll probably do it again at another store. Used to work at a gun store in California. Had this guy come and attempt to buy an AR. On the ATF Form 4473, there's a question asking something like, have you ever been convicted of a misdemeanor of domestic violence? Person marked yes to this question. So I'm really put off because it's pretty obvious that column of questions must all be answered no. So I asked him if he marked that on accident and he told me no, that he had in fact been convicted of domestic violence. Told him sorry, I couldn't sell him the gun and to have a good day. Comes back a week later with his wife, points to the same AR on the shelf, and says that's the one he wants. His wife comes up and says she'd like the to buy that AR. My co-workers and I witnessed the whole thing, and they knew about my experience the week before so we told them that was illegal and said we couldn't sell either of them a gun. The wife refused to take our declination and got mad that we wouldn't sell it to her. We made it crystal clear to her that if she bought that gun for him after openly admitting it to us that it was for him, she would be committing a felony. She did not care and wanted to proceed. We told them to leave or we would call the police and have them deal with it. They left.